Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Monday of the third week in ordinary time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let, the, let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Let the peoples praise you, O God, let all the peoples praise you. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. The earth has shielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing, till the ends of the earth revere him. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us approach the Lord with praise and thanksgiving. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shields. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as, as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, 
and their spears into pranning hooks. One nation shall not trace the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing to the Lord and bless His name. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless His name. Proclaim His help day by day. Tell among the nations His glory and His wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens, His are majesty and state and power, and splendor in His holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power, give the Lord the glory of His name. Bring an offering and enter His courts, worship the Lord in His temple, O earth tremble before Him. Proclaim the nations, God is King. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ is a mediator of a new covenant. Since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. For Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf, not that he might offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters rich each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer repeatedly from the foundations of the world. But now, once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice just as it is appointed that human being die once and after this the judgment so also Christ offered once to take away the sins of many will appear a second time not to take away sin but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him the word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nation, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kingship and the faithfulness toward the house of Israel. 
Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all your lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Please stand. Alleluia. Alleluia. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang siyang daan ng buhay at katotohanan. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes who have come from Jerusalem said of Jesus, He is possessed by Belzebul, and by the prince of demons he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he ties up first the strong man, then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemies against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an, he has an unclean spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat at welcome po dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. Isang araw po may dalawang magkapatid, ang panganay at ang bunso. Pareho silang magsasaka. Nagkaroon sila ng misunderstanding at dahil doon nawalan sila ng komunikasyon. Hindi na sila nag-uusap. There is silence between the two of them. Tumagal-tagal ng panahon, walang pag-uusap. Yung bunsong kapatid, nagsimula na ng magpagawa ng kanal sa pagitan ng kanilang space para tuluyan ng tuldukan kung anong meron sila. Yan yung sayo, ito yung sa akin. Nagpagawa siya ng kanal. After noon, sinamahan niya yung pagkatapos noon yung panganay na kapatid, nakita niya, nagulat siya sa ipinagawang kanal ng bunsong kapatid. Isang araw, yung bunsong kapatid may kumatok sa pinto niya. Tapos nakita niya isang tao, isang manggagawa, walang trabaho. Ang sabi niya, anong maipaglilingkod ko sa iyo? Ang sabi ng bunsong kapatid, kailangan ko po ng trabaho. Meron ho ba kayong ipapagawa? 
Kaya naisipan ng uh, naisipan ng bunsong kapatid. Uh, hindi na hinaisipan ng bunsong kapatid na hindi na muna hindi ko kailangan ng manggagawa. Afternoon, nakita na lang niya after niyang mag-day off, nagkaroon ng tulay yung pinagawa niyang kanal. At nalaman niya na yung manggagawa pala yun, na yun ay pinagaw, pinadala ng kanyang panganay na kapatid para magkaroon ng dugtong ang kanilang hidwaan. Madalas po, yung sanhi talaga ng problema o nagpapalala ng problema ay ang kawalan ng komunikasyon ng bawat isa. Ayon po sa isang kanta, Sound of Silence, Hello darkness, my old friend. I come to talk to you again. Pag panahon po ng problema, instead na puntahan yung taong kung saan magkaroon tayo ng hindi pagkakaintindihan, minsan-minsan mas mamabutihin po natin na huwag na lang kausapin. Minsan dadahilan natin, bigyan na lang siya ng time. Kaso yung binigay natin na time, minsan naman sumusobra to the extent na nawala na nga ng komunikasyon. E minsan din yung ginagawa natin, instead na sabihin sa taong yun ang problema, Minsan sinasabi natin sa hangin. Minsan sinasabi natin sa ibang tao. Ay alam mo yan, ganyan yan. Ganon yan. Kaya nako, mag-ingat ka dyan. Warning other people dun sa taong meron tayong kahidwaan. At normally po, ang result ng ganon, a society not loving each other, a family not loving each other, Friends, continually hating each other. And masaklap, minsan kahit po mag-asawa, nasusuklam sa isa't isa. Hello darkness, my old friend. I come to talk to you again. A picture of isolation. Instead na sabihin, hindi na. Puputulin na yung koneksyon. Ayaw nang makipag-usap. Kaya nga po, after nung mag-day off, nung nakita niya na nagkaroon na ng bridge, it gives way, it gives chance na magkaroon ng komunikasyon, magkaroon ng koneksyon, and to strengthen yung mga unbroken relationships. Pero paano po magawa yun? Kailangan po ng humility. At yun po yung naisipahiwatig ng ating gospel. Kailangan po pababain yung pride. Kung di kayang alisin, pababain. Humility. To accept. Meron tayong pagkukulang, meron po tayong pagkakamali na dapat po natin i-correct. Nang sa ganun po, ay maipagpatuloy natin yung magandang relationship with each other. Matutong magpakumbaba, matutong makipag-usap. Let us hold stand. Gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> that the church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life, and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all believers in Christ may overcome division and become one in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, especially those who are handicapped, may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our hope, the college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the masters, for the master of the order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be delivered from the evil of eternal death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, keep healing us from all evil and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your world through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Pinapalan na parinig ko Sa nala ng Panginoon O sa hara, o sa hara O sa hara
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we are to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, Our hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us, Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Blessed be the Lord our God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has risen for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath this word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the Lord, Lord our God. Let us approach the Lord, who makes all things new, for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank to, to the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed, lonely and impatient during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory now and forever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians. Pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Magingat po tayo sa ating pagawa. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may all the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us now pray the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawar, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Pakilabas po kung meron kayong mga dala. In memory of the mysteries of the life, that and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawar. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.